In a previous video, I showed you how to design an adder circuit, and I also showed you how to design a subtractor circuit from that adder circuit. Now what I want to do is show you how to, to put both in the same circuit. I've already pre-drawn here a, an adder circuit, so this is a 4-bit adder. I just deleted a couple of lines there. So here's a 4-bit adder circuit. Each one of these blocks is a full adder. So it's got the carry in and it's got the two input bits and then it gives you a sum out bit and a carry out bit and they're cascaded together. So we've got this 4-bit ripple carry adder. I've got my A number, which is this 4-bit number here, and a B number, which is this 4-bit number here. So you've seen that before. You've also seen, uh, let me scroll down here, you've also seen this circuit. This was the subtractor circuit where it took the same thing, the same adder circuit, but instead of um, just inputting the second number, I'm inverting the number and adding one to give me the two's complement. So this circuit is doing the function a minus b, whereas the previous one up here was doing the function a plus b. Now, how can we do a? How can we design a circuit that's going to do both of these functions at the same time? Well, we're going to need another control signal. We're going to need a signal to select whether we're doing addition and subtraction. I'm going to go back to the adder circuit here. So we're going to need a circuit. Let's call it um, the AS bit. And this AS bit is a 0 for add and a 1 for subtract. And the reason that I chose 0 for add and 1 for subtract is because I am going to connect that signal right here. So my AS bit is going to connect here. Now this is not all I have to do. I have to do a few other things, but this is a start, right? Um, remember in the, in the when I'm doing the add, my carry in was a zero, and when I was doing the sub subtract, my carry in was a one, so that I could add the inverse of, of b zero, uh, invert b zero, and then add one to do the subtraction. Now what else am I going to need? Well, a zero, the a inputs, a zero, a one, a two, and a three all stay the same, but my b inputs are going to change a little, change somewhat. Before I just had the inverter if I wanted to make the subtractor, but I'm going to have to either either invert or not invert B. And so what kind of logic am I going to need there? Well, it's going to be based on what is the value of B and what is the value of my add subtract bit. It's going to give me what actually goes into my B input, so I'll, I'll call that B in. So B is b0, b1, b2, or b3, depending on which bit we're dealing with. And add subtract is telling me whether I'm adding or subtracting. So those are my two inputs, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 are my four possible combinations of those two inputs. And let's figure out what is actually going to go into the full each of these full adders based on the values of these. And that's how we're going to, to determine what logic block has to go right here. So if we're adding, and if we're adding and are B input is a zero, well, we're not going to change it. B just goes straight in. And here again, if we're adding, B just goes straight in, so there it's a one. If we're subtracting, when this AS is a, a one, it means we're going to put in the inverse of B. And again, here we're adding and subtracting, so we're going to put in the inverse of B. So my two inputs and my single output, and if you take a look at the truth table of this, hopefully you'll recognize that this represents an exclusive OR gate. So we can put an exclusive OR gate here. And the two inputs for this will be the B0 signal and the add subtract signal. Oops, that's not the exclusive OR, is it? That was just the OR. Make sure this is exclusive OR. Sorry, I didn't draw it very well, but remember exclusive OR looks like that. Kind of hard to draw upside down for me. Stretching the limits of my artistic ability drawing full adder circuits. And B1 and AS are the inputs to the exclusive OR for the second full adder circuit. third full adder circuit here, oops, we'll have B2 coming in, as well as the add subtract signal. And finally over here, fourth exclusive OR, 
our V3 coming in and our add subtract signal to the, ex both to the exclusive OR gate to give us the actual B input to this fully adder circuit. And by adding, so you can see by adding the one control signal to tell whether we're adding or subtracting and putting exclusive OR inputs on the, the B inputs of each one of these full adder gates, we can, con we can create a subtractor circuit or an adder subtractor circuit.